welcome to my channel so if we get the power one if this reading resonates with you please hit the like button comment down below subscribe hit the notification bell this is how does men view you currently so whether you are interested in men or whether you are not this is how they view you currently here so take her resonate leave a dozen um if you like this topic here and you're interested in my other readings check that out my patreon is down below as well as my personal readings if that's something that you're interested in that's in the description box a further ado or further more let's get into it babies peace love and light beautiful bigger and bolder to you all here so men view you as somebody where you are very sharp here if you're a woman here or a feminine energy that are attracted to men or anybody that's attracted to men they view you as somebody where you're very smart here, very well put together. They like the way that you think. They like your perspective on certain things here. This is how men currently view you here. If you are a masculine here, men can also view you or, or, view, or if you are somebody that's not attracted to men, this is somebody that view you as somebody where you are very sharp, you are very smart, you're smart or something that you are doing has brought you to whatever point you are in your life right now. People could view you as somebody where you're very successful. Some of you guys are make a view as somebody where you could have had this type of um, knowledge at a young age or you could have had certain knowledge at a young age or something here. This is how um, um, other men view you here. If you're a feminine energy or anybody that's attracted to men or anything like that here, Men, men currently view you as somebody where you make them feel belong or stuff like that. Like you make them feel at home, make them feel like peaceful. You know, they can have a lot of things that they have to deal with everyday life, stuff like that. And you can be somebody where they love to talk to you, love to sit with you, love to communicate with you. So men really love speaking to you here. We got the world card and we got the page of wands here. So um, men could view you as somebody where even if they were already to get you or obtain you, they'll always have to kind of um, keep you interested or always have to kind of like keep you um, in some type of interest because if not, they could be afraid of other people taking you away from them. Other men can know, or this is how men view currently, other men know that there's other men that is attracted to you. They know that there's other guys that want to talk to you that want to get to know you they find you very attractive here so they feel like if they were to get you and date you it went in there they would have to continue dating you they would have to continue putting effort and time into you here because you are somebody where you are very attractive you are somebody where you do get a lot of potential when you go out um you are somebody where other masculine know that there's other masculines that will go the distance for you like oh well if what i want to do for part one i know there's somebody else that more likely will you know so they kind of feel like that here if you are somebody where you're not interested in the masculine masculine view as somebody where you have a lot of accomplishments that they could sometimes be intimidated by you here a lot of you guys so you can say you have more education on certain areas than what they do for some of you guys um this could even be somebody where they could view you as somebody where you're definitely where you're very disciplined here a lot of you guys you could be somebody where you commit to things that you want to commit to very easily here especially if you're somebody where you're not attracted to men and you just you know just want to know how men view you currently this is what i'm seeing here they view as somebody where you're very successful you they view as somebody where you're not an underachiever you somebody where the goal post always moves for you because you're always achieving a goal and um, they can view as somebody where you travel a lot you're very accomplished you already got your foot in the door um they could kind of view as kind of being you know they could kind of compete with you on that um they can always view as somebody where you always got good news i mean somebody where you're very optimistic here you always got good news here a lot of you guys if you have your own business or anything like that you just get a lot of good feedback a lot of good sales here um you are they can even view as somebody we're very interested here as well they can also view as other people that are attracted to you takes a ver liking to you they can notice other if you were somebody where you, you are inquiring about you know how just guys view you in general and you don't like guys and stuff like that on that way they're looking at you as a lot of people are attracted to you the people that they're attracted to be attracted to you that's kind of how they feel here so this is what i'm getting here and the musician in reverse here that can um that you could um masters can compete with you because of how accomplished you are they could feel like maybe they are not as where they want to be maybe they can feel like they're not as creative as you or they can't produce like you here but they see what you're doing here and they kind of you know throw themselves into like a secret competition i might get anything where it's over the top but i am just getting something where it's like um wanting to be the best here okay we're moving on here so for the ones if you are interested in men in that way here men view as somebody where you are attractive they know that other men want you it could be a thing where when men around you they can have conversations about you where other men are speaking on you it's almost like this masculine energy saying they saying something in between the lines of them liking you this person saying something in between the lines of them liking you it's almost like a conversation being had about you 
and everybody be like, oh, who you like or who would you talk to? Everybody saying your name, everybody screaming you are, everybody talk talking to you. So masculines know that people that they even be cool or people that they close to or have conversations with, they even be you be people's first choice here. A lot of you guys here as well. Masculines can like it because you're very unique and different here as well. A uh, make like because you're very unique and different. You somebody where um that's what attracts them to you here. They can feel like y'all even both want two different things. Like there, there could be a man when they meet you, they're like, oh, y'all you, don't want the same things, but with you being so unique and different out of the box and not what they're used to or not you're not or you're not like everybody else that's what attracts them to you your differences is what makes you stood out to masculines here masculines if like you have a really mean shoe game men or women here whoever you are whether you like bend in that way or platonically here they feel like you have a really nice shoe game they view you as somebody where you keep yourself very crispy here very well put together here um men can want to invite you out here as well they can want to invite you out to come chill hang out men can want to take you out on a date here they can want to ask you to come out here as well men can really value your time i'm um, seeing men can try to fit you in their schedule or they would try to um go out of way to fit you in their schedule because of how valuable you are to them here this is what I'm seeing here. Um, some of you guys say you have masculines where maybe y'all started talking to each other, but things never made it off the ground. They still think about you here. You have men that still think about you. We got the devil in reverse here. Maybe somebody could have been tied to some toxic way of thinking, maybe some type of toxic lifestyle, or maybe JP was just bonded to another individual. But whatever this is here, I'm seeing y'all did not make it off the ground with somebody here because of one of them reasons here. And this person still thinks about you here this is somebody where they could be not in that situation that they once were in they're no longer in that energy and they want to give things a chance with you you know y'all never made it off the ground you never got a chance to uh, explore things this is how somebody feels here uh, the king of cups here somebody feels like they're way more emotionally talented now they feel like they're they're ready they're ready for something serious with the justice card reverse, it could be somebody where they weren't honest with you in the past or the person could have like an actual past when it comes to like you know prison stuff like that for some of you guys others of you guys this is just somebody where they know they were uh, they weren't emotionally open to you at one point in time and they want to connect with you in that way here so this is what i'm seeing here. that's just for a small few of you guys um but uh yeah so y'all have somebody specifically that's coming through that wants to talk to y'all but other than you guys here masculine is being somebody where you are very attractive when you make wake up so especially for you work where you're like if you wear like makeup or anything like that um, men can find you to be very attractive when you take your makeup off. You know, they like that here. Men can also be somebody where you know how to cook very well. You always eat something that looks very good, looks very delicious. Uh, whether it's from a restaurant that you ordered it from, but men definitely like you know, you somebody where you know how to cook because of the foods and stuff that you have here as well. Um, men can also be as somebody where um you're not materialistic here as well. Men can be as somebody where you got your own here. They can play be as somebody where you um very head on sh straight here. You got your own here. So almost like they'll have to come in and add value to your life here. Um, if you're a masculine here or anybody is not a chapter to masculine energies, they could view you as somebody where you're very different. You're out of the norm here, but they can see whatever works. But they can see whatever is different for you, it works for you. So that's another thing that masculine notice. Um, other masculines can notice about you that you get a lot of invites from other people or stuff like that, or a lot of other people want to be around you here. A lot of people um know you by face or by name here. They could be as somebody where you have a nice style. You know, you definitely got a knee shoe game. You somebody where you definitely know how to step. You know, you're somebody where you have a really nice presence. Other men could be with somebody where you're very value. Other people value you. Other people make sure you're on the list. Other people make sure they include you. It's almost like people know that you're included because other people go out of their way to make you included. So they know this, especially if you're a masculine and you're inquiring about platonically how masculine do you. Yes. We got the death card. So other masculine could be with somebody where something ends for you, something else starts. Like when, some, when one thing ends for you, something else begins for you. This is how masculine view here as well. Masculines would also view you as somebody when you come around, you change things up. Like when you come around, um, let's say things is running a certain way. Everybody's starting to get into certain things now because you're around. Everybody kind of, you know, kind of turning towards whatever something that you're doing here. And if you're a feminine energy, you you know, masculines can have a certain way that they do a thing. You come around, you open up certain things. Like, I don't know why I'm getting somebody maybe don't know how to fold their clothes. And you come around like, oh, you fold it like this. Or, or you don't have to necessarily be that. Or I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. Or you just show them an easier way of doing something here. Um, they could like you know I'm getting like, I'm getting that video I seen a while back or whatever when this guy said um he had no shower curtain because he not a because he had no he had no shower curtain or something like this, and she came in and put the shower curtain on hooks or something, 
or whatever and then he was like wow like he was just so amazed by it. that's because he just didn't honestly know so it could be just be something as small as that where you could be somebody you could you could be somebody where you make a sandwich or you make a meal a certain way and you just amped it up with just a little bit of stuff you know your little bit of love just carries a long way so men know that when you put your time and effort to something your love triple downs into it you know they can tell so this is how um masculines view you here masculines often view you as somebody where um with the ten of wands here as well and the king of pentacles they can have a lot of obligation and things like that here but they can view you as somebody where you're very well established here even though you have obligations something that you're very well established especially if you're another masculine you have a lot of things that you tend to but you're very established in whatever you do here and you somebody really know how to upkeep things and this is how men view you here you have the nine of wands here. Yeah, men can other men know that whatever you're going through, it's not an easy battle, or it's just not something simple here. But you're making that coin here. Welcome to my channel. So forget the how to peace of line, beautiful, bigger, and bolder to you all lovelies. We're gonna hop right into it. This is how does men currently view you? How does men currently view you here? Whether this is platonically or if you are interested in men, stick around. Let's see what comes out. Let's see what resonates with you and take what doesn't. And yeah, if this reading resonates with you and you're interested in my Patreon and personal readings, that's down below in my description box as well. And yeah, let's get into this reading, baby. Peace, love, and light, beautiful, bigger, bolder to you all. Okay, so how does men view you, pal, to How does men currently view you? How are they viewing you right now? So some of you guys here, men could view you as somebody where you are very sought after. They know that you have a lot of options. Some of you guys, men could feel like you're not somebody where you're completely single. Men could view you as somebody where you at single. Or they could view you as very flirtatious. You know, men could feel like when other men engage with you, they could feel like um, you really know how to hold a conversation here. You know, you're somebody where you're very attractive here. Um, you're very sought after. A lot of people could want to get to know you. And men could kind of view you as friendly for some of you guys. They could kind of view you as somebody where it's like, and it could just be you being nice or simple. Some men could just view you as um, being friendly here. With this Wheel of Fortune here and the Two of Swords here, men feel like the ball is in your court here. This Wheel of Fortune it's almost like things are going in your favor. So the ball is kind of in your court. And men can view you as somebody where you have to make the decision whether you want a partnership with them or not because you have so many options available at hand here. So this is how men view some of you guys here, you know. Um, others of you here, if you're a masculine or if somebody that's just, you know, not interested in men platonically at all, men view you as somebody here where they could be you as somebody where you have a lot of options. You're very sought after. There could be a lot of people that want to talk to you. You have to choose between who you would like to talk to or, you know, that's something that you have to do. You have to make a decision on that, even though you have a lot of options here like that. So just how men view you here. So men could view you as somebody where they will fall for you. For some of you guys, men could be thinking that they're going to get in a situation shit with you. They'd be thinking that it's going to be a one here to quit it for some of you guys. They even that could be what their intentions is when they start talking to you or going into things for some of you guys. They could be like, oh, we're just going to have a fling. This is just fun right now. But they end up actually vibing with you here. Um, they end up not being able to cut you off here at this Queen of Swords here. You actually end up kind of changing their opinion here. It's because of the, who you are as a person, how you show up here. So this is what I'm getting here. Like men, because sometimes, especially people that are players, I'm getting players fit even far for you guys here. Like people could have, you know, attentions are just coming in, you know, swooping off your feet, saying the right words, saying what you want to hear. You know, y'all just having some type of fun, you know, not really taking things serious, but then they have a hard time letting you go. They have a hard time cutting you off and they end up developing feelings for you here. So this is how men view you. Men view you as somebody where you are very successful here, man or woman. They view you as somebody where you can have a lot going on for yourself. A lot of you guys can make a view as somebody where you can have like a public platform for some of you guys. Or you're very known for something that you do here. Some of you guys make it a view as somebody where you have some type of fame. Or you have been viral. Or you have like got a lot of attention for something that you have done for some of you guys. That's just for a small few of you here. Um, men can view as somebody where you have standards because you know people will meet them. So men knows that you're somebody where you're like high class. They know they put you on a pedestal. They know that you're somebody where you have options. They know you're somebody where you have standards and they know there's other people that are willing to meet them standards. Even if they may not agree, even if some fuck is outrageous, or even if some they do agree. You know, some people just feel like you have standards and they see there's other people that are interested in you, other men that's interested in you, that is able and will meet your standard whatever that is here so this is what i'm saying this is how men view you here um men can view you as somebody where you keep yourself very done up um men can view you as somebody where you get your hair done very often keep your hair done very often whether you do this yourself or not men can view you as somebody where they always catch you with your hair done always catch you with your hair up 
upkeep or you have somebody where you really maintenance your looks here you know even if you're a masculine here you go get your hair cut and stuff like that you go do your things like that this is how other men view you um if you're a masculine and stuff like that there's other men that want the type of people that you attract if you're a masculine the type of whether you would no matter what gender like whatever the people that you date the people that you're attracted to or other men view you as somebody where they would love to attract the type of people that you attract the type of significant others that you have in your arm the people that you date or the woman or the man that's in your life you know the people that you date people would love somebody like that here they view you as somebody where you have to get the people that everybody else wants here or you like you know they feel like you'd be the one that gets um the attractive person here this is just how men view you here um men view as somebody where you have really distinctive features here men can view as somebody where you look like an instagram model um they view as somebody where you have really um beautiful hair as well they love how you maintenance your hair heavy emphasis on your hair they love your hair they love how you style your hair some of y'all getting french tips some of y'all can get french tips here or white nails um this is what i'm getting here men can find it to be absolutely beautiful here um this is how men view you out here. They view you as somebody where you smell really good. Some of you guys, they love your earrings. Um, so, yeah, some of you guys, men love y'all in the sundress here. So this is how men view you. They love when you're wearing a sundress, okay? Uh, they love this on you here. So this is how men view you here. Uh, men can view you as an entrepreneur. Y'all can have your own business. Y'all can work for yourself or some of you guys or something that you do like this here. Or you're getting yourself in the gateway of doing things like that. This is what men likes about you here. A um, man can also, if you're a masculine here, um, and you just, you know, or anybody here just for, you know, men and platonically, men can kind of feel like when you come around, you kind of change things up and it kind of don't, you know, it could be for the best or for the worst, you know. Men can kind of feel like you come around, you move the goalposts. We're supposed to be doing this, we're supposed to be achieving this. Now, this person's showing up, everybody kind of want to hop over here and do this. That's how men view view you here where the king of swords here make a view as somebody where you're very smart you have a lot of structure here very intelligent very rational you somebody where you um it's almost like you somebody where you kind of people um you you know what i'm getting it's just giving the type of people where people kind of already respect you because of your energy like you ever like you know know people or see people and you can tell if they have so much respect from other people around them it's not like they necessarily it's not even that they have power over people it's just people respect them enough to listen to this person and guide this person you know guide them and stuff like that so this is what i'm getting here um this is how men other men view you here they can view as somebody you have a where you somebody where you have a good mindset you see things through here we got the ace of wands in reverse here as well so some of you guys again certain men can feel like when you come around um you can um they can feel like you change things up here some of you guys is for all of you guys but some of you guys are, so, certain men can view as somebody where you be missing out on certain opportunities to do a side of things and it's because you was doing things for a better reason so i'm getting like if you're somebody again platonically asking about how men view you is more so coming off like they're partying maybe they're doing fun stuff going drinking maybe they just travel adventuring things it could be anything right you are missing out on that because you have a routine that you are keeping up with you somebody where you're very logical here you have a routine that you're keeping up with you know are you be in the position and stuff where you have to maintain certain things but whatever this is that you're maintaining is bringing in resources for you so other men could be as somebody where you could um you come off as somebody where you are not the typical guy here you even got the two of swords in reverse i mean two of swords in the upright nine next to the nine of pentacles here it's almost like certain people could kind of be up in their head because maybe there's certain things that's coming slowly for them and, and but they're looking at but they're confused on how you're doing something so that's how they may view you like they could be doing certain stuff that may that that they could be like putting their energy and time into things that they may not necessarily get anything from or you know just fun you know experiences but you can miss out on certain things because of some type of maintenance or routine that you're doing in your life here and whatever this is, something's moving slow for them in their life, but something's moving quick for you, and they're confused on how you're doing it here. So this is what I'm seeing here. You got the Nine of Cups here as well. Men can even view as somebody where you're not, um, you don't just date anybody here, man or woman. Um, you don't just date anybody. Even if you somebody asks about men platonically, they feel like you don't just date anybody here. I'm kind of getting a 50 cent vibe here as well, but they feel like you don't just date anybody here. Like, I feel, men can be somebody where you're like a business oriented. You have like some type of business mindset. You have like a level up mindset here. With the moon card in reverse here, make a view of somebody where you're very secretive. So if you are somebody where, where you again you're asked about somebody platonically for some of y'all, maybe view of somebody where you keep um who you date in a secret or you or you keep who you date, you know, put put, put them around everybody and stuff like that. Make a view of somebody where you don't really trust them like that because you could keep 
your love life or things like that to yourself you know it's almost like you have like this outside life that they don't completely know about you know and it's like they know you dating somebody significant or you got your eye on somebody significant or things like that but you keep that to yourself here this is how men view here you even got the tower card because you don't want nobody messing up not so men can view as somebody where you don't keep a relationship secret to, but you don't open up about your relationship to other people because you don't want anybody else causing in to try to cause chaos here so i'm seeing this here so this is what i'm seeing here um, so this is not men view y'all platonically here. Others of you, again, men view as somebody where you're very attractive here. Men do fall for you very quickly here, especially for the ones that be trying to play you. You end up kind of, you end up playing them a little bit. Um, a lot of you guys here, men can observe you from afar here. Like, men observe you from afar before, it, um, they come and approach you here. Um, men, yeah, I'm kind of getting like, um... What's that in the movies or whatever where you like, you know, the guy that be sitting at the counter and be seeing that one girl, she be talking to somebody and they just be sitting far away staring at her and she don't even know. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Like, well, you know how the movies be? Yeah, it's kind of like that, you know, like them Lifetime movies or love movies and stuff. Yeah, we have the Page of Pentacles here. Yeah, so men watch you from afar here. Um, men can even see as somebody where you're getting certain opportunities or you could be investing in certain things. You'll be trying to do certain things to grow. They see this as what well. they see you growing your back here. We got the Nine of Cups here as well. Men can view you as somebody where you want to date anybody. Men can view you as somebody where you want to date somebody that has something going on for themselves. Somebody that's at least trying to attempt to cheat something. You got the Nine of Cups here. Men want you, men view you as somebody where you want somebody that has something going on for themselves here. Somebody that does have goals. Somebody that does have dreams and wants a wish fulfillment and stuff like that. Men view y'all as a wish fulfillment here. Men view you as somebody where they can invest their time and energy into, um, spend money on, actually like a invest in you you know we also have the four pinnacles in reverse here um men can also be as somebody where you're letting go of things that don't resonate with you they could make a view as somebody where you're like a homebody or they could notice that there's certain stuff that you don't get into and stuff like that because you got other go goals that make a be as somebody where you got your head in like your books your papers you got your head in ways that you can level up you know you have a different mindset men really like talking to you because of your mindset here they like this here with this cherry card in reverse and that's his nine of cups here Men can view as somebody where um uh, it's hard to date you here, it's hard to get with you, it's hard to you know, you don't just date anybody here. With this nine of swords in reverse and that's the nine of cups, men don't want to miss out on an opportunity that would feel like your wish fulfillment. So men can try to like get you as soon as possible because they don't want to miss the idea of not yeah, you wanna think back and be like, dang, I wish I would have got to know this person here. But you got the three of swords in reverse. Some of you guys here, somebody could have did that in the past here and they regretted that. So this is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, we got the Ten of Cups here. Somebody wanted a family with y'all in the past and they did not not putting opera they didn't them not put in time and something into something here. And that's why they're not with you now. So there could be other like if you some of you guys there could be other men and stuff like that. That's like they want to take the opportunity wise right there. We also got the page of cups here. Next to the two of pentacles here. So they can even view as somebody very comforting. Um they can be somebody that has really soft lips. They can want to um talk to you as well. They love your ideas that you come up with as well. Um, they could be you as you balance them out. Like, so men could be as somebody where y'all have, like, the same love language. Like, the chemistry will be there and stuff like that. Like, y'all kind of, like, the way y'all show emotions to each other is kind of, like, the same. They like that. They like the fact that y'all kind of have, like, the same love language and stuff like that. Men could kind of like that they can relate to you and stuff like that here. But this is how men view you here. If this really resonates with you, please like, comment down below, subscribe. Until next time. Bye, baby.